Okay. There's so... There's a new quest today, but uh, we got some time for that. I'm gonna continue those uh, story work quests before. Uh, could I just... I can teleport directly inside there. Uh. Oh, hang on, it's really low. The volume of the game. Okay, we can teleport directly here. So, let's see where they are. I expect a lot of dialogue. Oh. Oh, what is this place? If I'm most dizzy from the whole getting kind of sucked in the book thing. I remember this place. I know it. This is the Narcissus Cross Ordo. What does Ordo mean? I. It sure does feel like we've been transported to all sorts of strange places under weird circumstances after meeting Anne. Huh? Sorry, Paimon. Oh, it's fine. Paimon is not blaming you. She just thinks uh, the Fontaine really is a magical place. Still, this is the Narcissus Cross Ordo. Sounds like an organization the people from the kingdom would set up in a different country. Why? Mm -hmm. The method of entry was pretty interesting too, huh? It was like it was just like the picture book in the analysis. We read and read and then we went up somewhere else. That makes this place something like a secret base, doesn't it? We don't even know where it really is either. Are you feeling more calm now, Anna? Yes, much better. Thank you, Knight Ignus. Or should I drop that title? It was all fake, after all. Well, did you even have the authority to make me a knight in the first place? Don't say that, and But... On the contrary, your story has only just begun. Oh, come on, don't say it. Tell me there's a lot of quests ahead of me. Uh, on the contrary, our story has only just begun. It's basically the same thing. It is right, you know. We've still got a whole bunch of adventures waiting up ahead of ahead for us. Uh, and how shall one proceed in peace of mind without a reliable knight at hand, oh lovely maiden? Mm, you're getting tired, Paimon. Come on, Paimon's just trying to encourage you and... You're quite the knight yourself, Paimon. You're positive and you've got a good heart. It makes me happy, truly. Oh, come on, why are you getting so serious all of a sudden? You're just less powerful than I think, that's all. Oh, everyone's got things they're good at. Ignus got a good brain and sword arm. And Paimo, Paimo, powerful eater, has perfectly white hair, is a powerful giver of nicknames. You are really are impressive, Paimo. Powerful eater, give out nicknames. Uh, that's Paimo, a gifted speaker indeed. But that aside, didn't you say before that the Narcissus Cross Ordo was, has deep links with the past and that's why we came in the first place? Yes, however, my head is still a complete mess. That's true, uh, Paimo knows. Let's put what we discovered together real quick. When we were exploring the analysis, uh, oh boy, Parmos had some mess too. Any ideas? Let's discuss Anne. Right, Parmos been thinking about that too. Mary Anne said that your birth was a beautiful accident. What does that mean? I think it may simply be that my birth was a coincidence. She, uh, just as she said, I am someone she dreamed of. The form she took in the dream. The thing we experienced together were also part of the tale in the dream. If it hasn't had me for you, that dream might never have ended. Or perhaps it might 
have ended and I might have disappeared with the happily ever after. I can be sure. That's true. Not that Paimon gets it. That means that Mary Ann is also an Ocinid. Huh? And Anne was created from Mary Ann. Uh -uh. That's what I believe as well. And if that's the case, the things I remember during our journey should have been her memories. Or so I think. Your knowledge and experience cannot exceed that of the main body. But when you met her, you also became your own entity. Without a main body to restrict and control you. So become the master of your own fate. Her last words to me. Okay, okay, Pamon gets it now. So that means that Petit Cho, all and the others are creations just like you, right? I believe that to be the case, yes. In that case, who is Mary Ann, really? This name is very familiar to me, but I cannot recall why. It's like some part of my body has been frozen. Any other thoughts? Let's discuss the Narcissus and Cross Ordo. Alright. I now have a lot of thoughts on the matter, memories and emotions. When those two children brought me here, it was a lovely place. Everything was new and shiny, just as before. They were vibrant and excited, and like the sunlight shining on the water. They told me that this was our new home, and that they brought many new friends. That everything could be like they were before. But later they changed. Some things stopped being the same, and the people here changed too. So the Narcissian Cross Institute of old did not have sunlight. It was very warm, yet this place grew even ever colder. And then, then, and it looks like she's in pain. Uh, can you recall anything else? No need to push us. Can you recall anything else? I'm sorry, no, Ignis. As for the rest, each time I try to recall it, I grow very frightened and very sad. This is the best I can do for now. I can sense that many terrible things happen here. I can sense many emotions, rage, terror, but also hope, trust, and admiration. But a lot of them make me feel a strange sort of pain. Like there are all sorts of shards or impurities embedded in my body. I don't want to. I can't. Alright, alright. Leave that aside first. There's no need to force it. The more you try to force yourself to remember, the less you'll be able to remember. Any other thoughts? Let's discuss Princess Laris. Laris. I suspect that she was only ever a character in the uh, story. In that tale, we needed to save her and defeat the fell dragon Narcissus. That was my original purpose. Our stories must have their origins. Mm, speaking of that, and we've just we've heard you mention a place called the Narcissus Cross Institute before. So, if you go with Ignis Lush. The Narcissus Cross Kingdom and Adventure Team may have their stories orange in the Institute and the Ordo, right? That is possible. Uh, it feels like we got our heads, our hands on some new clues, but then again, not. Actually, I've recalled something else. I've seen terrifying sights, the primordial waters, the amniotic fluid of the world, and its placenta devoured to the last. The world fell into utter darkness. Never again would the cool spring water flow. I saw the once, or perhaps I saw that in the future. Oh, wait a second, which are you talking about? The past or the future? I don't know. Sorry, and thank you, the Inus, Paimon. Uh, come on, it's fine. We said we were gonna help you. No, I truly am happy that the two of you are the first two friends I met since I became me. For that, you have my thanks. Please have me to two, when? And why are you two being so formal? 
isn't becoming for friend something that just you know happens when you call out to us and ask for our help and that was the moment primal thought that's right you're our friend and we gotta help you uh, thanks so much primal don't be like that and if you really want to thank us then keep your chin up and keep those spirits high yes yes you're exactly right primal besides i have your help I shouldn't waste it by standing still, I must recall more and tell you all about it. Uh, not that hard to push yourself too hard to recall the past. It's fine, just as Marianne dreamed of the past tale and the tale gave birth to me, I will also rest. In dreams, I might be able to recall more things. Perhaps there might be lovely things there too. If I do recall some, you'll be the first to know. Night, Ignus, Paimon. Got it. Alright then. Good night then. Indeed, good night. That was it? Oh, I thought there would be some quests here. And what about the one with the dog? The final question. So this is the Narcissus Crotz Ordo. Recording this location data re regarding it have been recorded in my storage unit. Uh, we've been here before. The Mary Ann you're looking for probably isn't here. Oh come on, couldn't I have spoken to him before speaking to Anne? Then this line wouldn't be here. We might still find some clues that we didn't before. Did you remember anything useful upon arriving here, Seymour? Negative. The newly recorded information is pending further analysis and organization. No effective conclusion possible at present. Hmm, then uh, are we gonna have to wait for a long time until... Affirmative. Record space collation starting. Total time required, unknown. Interactive functions will cease temporarily while this is going. Wait, hold on a second first. Roger, interrupting space collation process. What instructions, Mr. Ignus, Miss Paimon? Come to think of it, we don't know a lot about you either, Seymour. All we know is that your master isn't Mamir, but is someone named Mary Ann. Affirmative. Miss Mary Ann is my master. According to my standard deduction module, the odds of finding clues as to her whereabouts here are high. We know you said it before, but it felt like there were some more basic questions we hadn't answered yet. Now seems like a good time, right? If you could tell us a bit more about yourself and Marianne, we might be able to better help you. Of course, kind miss. So, Ignus, what would like to ask? Tell us about yourself, Seymour. I am prototype. For ACV07, designed to carbon mechanical noises, to accompany and protect my master, Miss Mary Ann. Uh, Pemon didn't get a word of that. Carbon mechanical noises is my creator. I am equipped with the most advanced optics, memory storage unit, logic unit, and various functional modules from the Fontaine Institute of Natural Philosophy. Uh, that was clear as mud, but it sure sounds impressive. The more impressive the equipment, the harder it might be to fix once broken. Note, regular record space collation can decrease the frequency of such issues effectively. So basically, before you've done your collation thing, there's some stuff that you can't tell us even if you knew, right? Affirmative. More precisely, variable mechanical noises grasped variable mechanical noises. Information regarding variable mechanical noises can be extracted using variable mechanical noises. Uh, this allows me to keep a log of Miss Mary Ann's daily life and also act as an agent's assistant. Are you serious? The important bits got, all got cut off. Was an agent's assistant. An agent refers to a member of the Marshal Phantom who undertakes investigations. 
In this context, assistant refers to Seymour prototype Nonoa itself. So Mary Ann was a Mershalsi phantom agent? Affirmative. Wait, if that's who she is, wouldn't uh, looking for official records help us find her faster? Why do you need to come here? Miss Mary Ann's role as an agent was not publicized. Additionally, the case she investigated has to do with garbage mechanical noise. It is garbage mechanical noise performed at the direction of garbage mechanical noise, such as garbage mechanical noise. Uh, same way breaking down again, aren't you? No, to regular record, space collation can decrease the frequency of such issues. Uh, let's just for questions, shall we? Any other questions? Tell me about the Narcissa Cross Ordo. We can can we really find clues about Mary Ann's whereabouts here? You've never been here before, right? So why do you think we'll find clues here? My latest records indicate that the last records before meeting Miss Mamir were those of myself executing a specific process. This process was the capture of fugitive elements from the Narcissus Cross Ordo. Miss Mary Ann was also executing this process. As her companion and guard, I followed her and Garvin Clinical Noises into Elena's. There, we encountered members of the Narcissus Cross Ordo, including Jacob Ingold, a core member of said Ordo. I thought half of those Garbo Mechanical Noises was Jacob's name, so it's somebody else. So he was a member, and Mary Ann was pursuing him? Affirmative. Well, guess there really was some relation there, then uh, we should have kept captured Jacob and questioned him. I'm not sure we could. Uh, Paimo wonders if he'll come back here. If we ever meet him, we ever meet again, we're gonna have questions for him. He doesn't seem like the sort who will simply answer questions if asked. If all else fails, we can just, you know, go good cop, back cop on him. There's gonna be some way, or else we're stuck waiting for Samer to recall stuff. You mean when I complete my record space collation, Miss Pamel? Those things are basically the same. Any other questions? Tell me about your latest records. The first battle against the members of the Ordo broke out within Elinus. My storage unit encountered an error due to massive trauma. We must foil the Ordo's plans. To that end, Jacob Ingold, Garbo Mechanical Noises, Garbo Mechanical Noises must be stopped. Due to Garbo Mechanical Noises, Garbo to Miss Marianne. You best take a break. Your words are most considerate. Seems like we're gonna have to wait for you to do the collation thing, Seymour. But whatever the case, Jacob was trying to do something bad inside Elinus, while you and Mary Ann were trying to stop him, right? Affirmative. Your summary is overly simplistic, perhaps, but it is basically the truth, Miss Paimo. If we, if we only have this information, finding Marianne might be somewhat difficult. It doesn't seem like we've got other options beyond waiting for you to do the record collation of yours, Seymour. Affirmative. My calculations indicate that this is the approach with the highest success rate. But it'll take a lot of time, won't it? If you wish, I can estimate the amount of time required. Processing time required, unknown. Uh, yeah, no need for that special stuff then. Well, Paimon's not asking the same more questions now, but boy has she still got some for you, Ignis. You promised you to explain, didn't you? I didn't stash any snacks away without your knowledge. Then there wasn't a good time to have this conversation earlier. I don't know. That's not what Paimon's asking. But there's no one serving us now, a Samer's, well... Uh, related party, right? No time like the present, then. Hey. Ah, uh, there's no need, then. You tell Paimon to remember the conversation with Elinus. Uh, so that's the thing that happened. 
Pavel thought you've gotten sick or something when you start saying all the weird stuff. Well, it's good to know that you're fine. By the way, Seymour, leaving you here to perform your record collection wouldn't be a problem, would it? Uh... Ah, and you're awake. Good morning, Paimo, my Ignis. Okay, yeah, I'm really curious how this will go if I didn't do her quest. Oh yes, let Paimo introduce you. This is Anne, an Ossanid and a friend of ours. And this is... I know, you're the silly dog, Seymour. Hmm? I like the relevant data. I do not believe we have had the honor of meeting Ossanid Anne. I never met you before either, but I was sure of it the moment I saw you. You must be Seymour. Mm, what's going on here? This must be... No, I don't know either. I feel strange. No, to regular record space collation can decrease the frequency of such issues effectively. Anyway, let's bring you up to speed. You shed a little light on the matter so far. So Seymour is searching for Marianne. Uh, no wonder the name felt familiar. The person Seymour mentioned and is looking for is also named Marianne. Yeah, what a coincidence. No, to regular records, particularly, okay. Uh, Pimos had with you, you see the dog. Uh, according to what Seymour said before, they can be the same Marianne, right? The timing based on your statement. May I deduce that you have met someone named Marianne in the past, or perhaps read or heard about such a person from sources apart from myself? Well, that was her name, that's for sure. You know what? Let's do it like this. We can call the Marianne in Anapolis Marianne 1, and the one you're looking for, same or can be Marianne 2. Negative. The Miss Marianne I am searching for is of a higher sequential priority. To prevent confusion, she should be Marianne 1 instead. Uh, why don't you look at it this way, Seymour? 2 is bigger than 1. Doesn't that make a pretty good 2? You claim... <laughs> Sorry, data fragments. Uh, looks like he stopped functioning again. <laughs> Silly dog. Uh, Pam didn't think you had any mean bones in you, and but you sure do. Uh, I don't know why, but I suddenly felt compelled to do that. Preliminary data fragments are incomplete. Uh, for the following 15 reasons, also in the end, I assess that your perspective is logical. Firstly, alright, alright, that stuff doesn't matter. Come, good dog, sit. Understood. Why? If you sit, we'll be able to improve the photo taking stability, right? Yes, uh, do you need to take a photo, also need N? I am equipped with the most advanced optics from the Fountain Institute of Natural Philosophy. I can... Oh, there's no need, but thank you. Understood. Oh, Simon's getting played left and right over there. Let's call a quick halt, please. Do you want to go to an opposite, Simon? Can we get back there? Or not we thrown out? Forcefully. Yeah, the way you can meet the Marianne is see if she's the one you're looking for or not. Uh, what you say makes sense, Paimo. Affirmative. A reasonable suggestion. Well then, let's go. Actually, Knight Ignus, Paimo, I don't think we need to trouble you this time. I can show Seymour the way, but I want to see what's going to happen. Are you sure you'll be fine? Take care now. Yes, I know Seymour is very reliable. That's right, let's meet up here later, shall we? How later? Oh, I'll have to come back here another day. Oh, a key. Should be able to open a certain door in the Institute of Natural Philosophy. Um, 
damage. Ah, here's another pause, but that isn't. Yeah, I'm not sure I can get back in there. No, I should be able to the the water chests in there. Quit following me. Any documents around? Ah, one of those pages. Actually, how many of them I have? Okay, so four, six, seven, nine, eleven, twelve. Okay. Uh, ah, that's okay. I think I remember a locked door from when I was clearing up the place afterwards. But I'm not completely sure. Behold! Huh. Quit following me! The wind rises! No, okay, they're already. Slow. I think it's there. Yeah. Okay. Mm. This seems to look back. Following me. Huh. Huh. Too slow. Study sable. Oh, that's that here. Huh? Was I supposed to break that? Ah, uh, that's that's safe. I thought I would have to break that. Yay, shiny! Oh, good, another one. Oh, ancient log. Anyway, when it comes down to it, our research directions are different. So I apply for a new research lab, the director. But there's nothing for it anyway. Alain is incredibly intelligent, but he only trusts himself. He doesn't trust our observations or accomplishments, unless he reaches the same conclusions through his own calculations. Well, it's okay since Alain is making the world a better place on his own in his own way. I trust him because this is the world that Anne lives in. I even thought the institute is full of people, and don't have any friends besides Carter. If it feels like everyone's kind of dislikes us, Rene managed to acquire something powerful to research. Apparently, this appeared after the disaster and are very dangerous for most, most people. But I feel okay, maybe my constitution really has gotten a lot better. 
I helped Rene out. When I visited him, I found out that he also attended Narcissa Cross Institute. We didn't tell him about the vice director abandoning us, or it would have made him sad. If only we could have helped him just like I was helped. After discussing with Irvine, after discussing it with Rene, he finally agreed to give it a try. He said it, since it's dangerous, everything needs to be made clear to Carter, and he must make the judgment himself as it concerns his own life. But if it's successful, then he'll survive just like I did. Ah, oh. oh. those were Jacob's diaries. I, I thought he was mentioned in one of the previous ones. So then, wasn't Elena's body that made him? Stronger and stuff, so it was the abyss stuff. But what about that? Aren't you supposed to be able to break that? Well, the request vanished from here. I'm just gonna try to check all on the pulses if they are there. See if I can get back inside. But if not, then I'll go do some other word quests. Well, shouldn't this have vanished by now? I defeated kind of it once. The dream kind of ended. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, they brought me back here. No, hang on. Where was the book? After escaping the convoluted corridor. Yeah, but how how did I get there? I don't remember. Uh, I think I was teleported back. Yeah, that's where I fought the 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 dragon. Oh, I didn't even notice the dragon is here in the mini map. Wasn't there anything for me to collect over here? There was a bunch of text. No, but I had to read all that to to get to the final. Uh, not cool. Yeah. Huh, too slow. Uh, the sword. Yeah, I don't fully remember. I, I think it was 
the the door that I went back to it. Behold. But it should take me elsewhere. Let me check the map. Wasn't there any more chests in there or anything? Um. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation just to occupy silence. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. Yeah, I don't think he'll return there. Okay then. I guess I'm gonna do her quests. I said I should meet with them back there, but uh, you know, sometimes it's just in game days. I'm now logging out now. They should go here and meet me back there, so I don't have to meet with them with Marianne. No, nothing. Very well. Let's check some other quests. I think there were three Melusines around that had quests for me. Very bright place. Mercy Village. Okay. On the gale. Okay, you, Verenata, Ignus and Paimon, we meet again. Ah, you're the one that wanted to be a cop, right? Hey, Verenata, it's been a while. What are you doing here? Don't tell Paimon that you've crafted some new potion. Ah, no, it's this one. Okay, you are looking for more guinea pigs. Yeah, we need to complete that. We saw that ghost ship and stuff. No, no, that's not it. Actually, we found a Melusine who's willing to help test the potion. Carabos herself has already headed over to fully document the potion's efficacy. It's just... What? It's just that Carabos was so excited to hear that someone's willing to test it that she left home without bringing the potion. Carbos, isn't she the great potioner that you mentioned last time? That's right, thanks to Ignus' help in testing our potions last time, we've gathered quite some data and information. With it, the master potioner managed to modify the formulae. But didn't you tell us that no one's really willing to help 
test because those potions aren't used to cure disease. It's kind of strange that someone's willing to do tests for you. Could it be that this Melusine secretly enjoys drinking his strange stuff? No, the Melusine in question is named Topias. She claims to be a musician and volunteered when she heard that the Master Potioner had developed some wondrous potion. Uh, that makes even less sense to Paimon. Why would a musician be interested in a potion? Perhaps a potion that can boost her musical talent? Perhaps a potion that can help relieve fatigue? Musical talent. Paimon doesn't think that melusines usually take shortcuts like that though. Uh, to be honest, I don't know the details either. But Carboss say, once said that potions and music are essentially connected, given that they both serve to manifest truth. Yes, speaking of that, do you remember the true side potion I got you to test previously? Yeah. We're bringing Topius to enhance uh, the enhanced version of that potion. The Master Potioner seems to be really pleased with its modified formula. The enhanced version. The true side potion in his test was already strange enough, the effects of the enhanced version might be even worse, you know? A anyway, can I ask you two for one more favor? I still have to get lots and lots of herbs before the master potion you returns. So I can only ask you two to take this potion to her. She should be with the peas at the moment. Oh, so it sounds like we just need to bring this potion over then? Yeah, that seems easy enough. And this time we finally meet the Master Potion here. I'm quite interested in the potion actually. Perhaps you be meeting someone dangerous. No. Yeah, maybe there's even a potion that helps you find hidden treasure. Just think of the moral we'd make. Uh, thanks so much for taking the potion to Mr. Master Potion here. Okay. Uh, something else? A little delivery, okay. So, where to? Hmm. Oh, here go. Add as That's probably done for quite some time. Okay, those shoes should have some time. Uh, from here? No, I think from here would be better. Will be conch. Look, the best bit of you is a potion here. Let's head over. Whoa, whoa, so many moons. One, two, three. Whoa, whoa, the stars are dancing. Whoa, whoa. But uh, I don't understand what you said at all. It seems that the truth shall remain elusive without the use of our latest potion, after all. Uh, so I guess this is the master potion you we've heard so much about. She looks exception, exception, exceptionally ordinary to Paimon, though. So. Uh, who are you? It sounds like you're looking for me, specifically. Humans attracted by my fame. I never realized my reputation as a potioner had already spread so far among humankind. So, as you can see, I am in the middle of an important experiment. If you desire a potion of my formulation, I must ask you to wait a bit longer. Okay, that's not it at all, but 
You are right. Uh, just say they were looking for you. If Virenata asks us to bring you this, you'll give the haste through side potion to Carbos. Oh la la. You've done me a great favor, huh? To be honest, I've forgotten to bring this private version of the true side potion, and that left me in quite a loss. Speaking of which, I do not believe I have yet learned your name, Mr. Benefactors. Paimon's Paimon, and he's Ignus. Ignus, could you be the one who assisted with testing potions before? I recall seeing your name in Verenata's notes. In the flesh? Could be a case of names the same, for you know. Mm, I strongly doubt that anyone else in the world would share such a strange name. It must be you, or I'm not Carabos. <laughs> well, it is thanks to your previous assistance that I was able to use her pre precious notes to create an improved version. Carabos. Could anybody be actually... I don't know. This may be an actual name somewhere. But then couldn't there be a, a player with the name already? Carbos uh, is a wicked fairy godmother in the classic fairy tale Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, there could be um, somebody with the name playing the game and she says no, nobody will have such a strange name. And thus, it is clear that I owe you both a debt of gratitude. Should you require any potions, please just tell me. No need to be polite. Yeah, what that I just gave you. In that case, a potion that can make Mora out of... Wait, that's not what we're here for. Why not? We can get that. That's the PS, right? Seems like she's gone all loopy. Is she really okay? Oh, that you needn't worry. We Melusins are quite hardy and won't be in any danger from just drinking something odd. Now I want to poison them just to test how far they can go. Uh, you just straight up admit that your potions are strange, didn't you? Uh, in addition, in order to prevent any issue from popping up during the experiment, I specifically concocted this pick-me-up potion to neutralize the effects. Using it should allow the PS to immediately return to normal. Carbos administers the pick me up potion to PS, who quickly becomes more lucid. Wololo, now that felt like a very long time. Whoa, strangers. Haven't seen you around before. Well, now let me introduce them. These two are Paimo and Ignus. They are my benefactors. They were potion testers previously. Oh, I see now. Hello, I'm Topias, a musician from Mercy Village. Uh, hi there, Topias. 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 I think Topias, maybe. Uh, it was also they who helped deliver the new formulation to me this time. With this, we can begin the final experiment. The experiment that will grant us insight into the truth. Mm, I've been really curious for a while now. But why would Topias want to uh, try this potion that supposedly lets you see the truth? No, she's just testing. We don't know. She doesn't have to want or anything. She volunteered to test. So, Inus tried it before. All he saw was this really weird ghost ship. Well, how should I put it? The essence of my music is an attempt to reveal the truth hidden all around us. Things we usually don't see. Like the whispers, the whisper of the waves, uh, to call the sea stars, and joyous choruses of, saint, of the saints. Uh, what? Pam understands this less the more you go on. Anyway, it functions on the same principle as Carbos' true sight potion. I had hoped to create music that could transmit the truth by my own strength. But, but I really don't have much time to prepare, and I want to give Mamir her gift as soon as possible. If I can create a wonderful song quickly enough, then Mamir might leave the village again before it's ready. Oh, so it's a gift for Mamir. 
Uh, you know her too? We're friends of her. We're adventuring companions. We're friends. That's right. We're totally adventuring companions. I said the other. Wow. Since you're Mamir's partners, you must be really reliable. With your help, maybe I can get that thing. What thing? Well, legend says that under the waters here, within a sealed ancient cave, lies the score upon which the melody of Vesta is recorded. Vesta? I've seen this name somewhere. Though no Melusian has ever successfully entered the cave and retrieved the score, I've heard that when the melody is played, the listeners will be transported into a fantastical dreamland. So if we could obtain it, then I could still perform a song for my mirror as a gift, even without the true side potion. But there won't be anyone to help me test potions then. Wait a minute, hold it. Didn't Topaz say that the music score was hidden in some sealed underwater cave? We've opened up a lot of seals in our time, sure, but if all we have to go on is some vague legend, this could be a long shot. That's true, but even so, can I ask you to at least accompany me to look at the seal? Yeah, I'll, def I'll definitely pay you. After all, you're my mere adventure companions. Once you see the seal, I'm sure you'll definitely find a way to open it. Uh, well, if put it like that, maybe we can at least go with you and take a look. Well, we are getting paid. As long as you know we are getting paid. How very interesting. Why, I think I'll come along. Can we just go look for the ghost ship? Uh, somewhere. Okay, but I think this will take me quickly there. Not so much. We arrived. This is it. If we enter through here, we reach the cave where the legendary lost music is hidden. I heard that humans who lived here, who lived here, hid inside long, long ago. Uh, it's just a little strange, isn't it? They said that nobody's ever been inside, right? Maybe someone just saw the seal here and made up a legend about it. There's a seal. There's something behind it. Yes, that might be possible. No, wait. This is a really ancient legend, and I heard it when I was young. There's no way it could be fake. How old are you? Well, this seal looks pretty ordinary, and since it's here, there's gonna be a mechanism that opens it. Let's look around. The water, I looked all over this area here countless times, and there's nothing that looks even vaguely like a mechanism. And if there really was, then you would have been discovered ages ago, instead of nobody being able to get inside. Well, if there are no mechanisms around, even Inus wouldn't be able to break the seal. Could someone have hidden them in some way that no one can find them? Oh, you mean some kind of visible mechanism? Well, this seems like a job for yours truly. Huh? I've already forgotten the true side potion you brought me. It is a potion that allows one to see what cannot be seen. Uh, you mean anyone who drinks it will be able to see the mechanisms? Well, it was, did see some really weird stuff after drinking it before. But it doesn't seem all that reliable. Rest assured, though I can't guarantee that it will work if a Melusine drinks it, things will certainly work out if Ignis does. I don't follow your logic, but okay. After all, this improved version is based upon the data we gained from the last time you tried it. So, from a certain perspective, 
it is the perfect text subject for this new version. Baloney, you just want us to keep being your guinea pigs. Oh, come on, this formula truly is my pride and joy. If there really is some mechanism that cannot be seen, you'll definitely be able to see it if you drink this. You've tried it once before, have you not? It can hurt to have another go. A capital proposal, if you're just trying it. Capital proposal. Uh, it's just to be careful. Then please drink the true side potion. I am looking forward to your feedback. You take the true side potion from Carbos and gulp it down before the pungent aroma has changed to spread. Can we we can breathe on the water here? Can we smell underwater as well? Just like before, it seems not to taste like anything. Good, the potion should be taking effect by now. Try to see if you can find what we're looking for nearby. There? Ah, there are more. The seal really opened. I didn't even see how it did. Inus must have, must have seen something we cannot and done something to it. That's right. It was a pretty normal mechanism. Oh, what an excellent result. Something that only those who can see the truth can interact with. This truth is not bound by, to the confines of our own thought and eyes. It is different from ordinary subjective records. It is a completely reliable and objective re record. Uh, though I cannot say if it is because of your innate talents or the potion, I believe the development of this true side potion has certainly taken its first step towards su success. Next, we must figure out the underlying principles behind the potion's effects and continue to improve it. Uh, you don't even understand the basic principles behind it, behind how it works and ask us to test it anyway. That's way too irresponsible. Uh, what can I say? Potioneering is an experimental science. Practical results are way more important than principles in theory. Without experimentation, even I have no way of to possibly confirm its effects. Then Paimos has no idea what to say, but ignoring the potions for now, at least you can finally enter the cave. True, the last musical score of the melody of Vesta should be inside. Let's hurry in and take a look. Uh, though I am also quite interested in this legendary last music, now that I have received new feedback concerning this Rosite Potion, I should go back and work on its next iteration. As such, I shall be taking my leave for now. My thanks, benefactors. Remember, if there are any other potions you'd like to try in the future, come find me. Anyway, since the seal is open, let's go in and have a look. Maybe we'll find something unexpected. Uh, is this song written in paper? It's a house here. There's no treasure here. There's some basic treasure. Let's look somewhere else. I mean, there's a house here. Shouldn't there be somebody here? Shouldn't the Melusine check the house at the very least? Uh, 
uh, have his contest yet, but a bronze plate should be the last score. Nice, a bronze plate. Get back a shot. Seriously, in the case, let's the first weapon once we get a shot. Here we are, now let's look at the score we just found. Just what kind of music has it recorded? Pamu can wait to find out. After a quick cleanup, it represents the last musical to the pies. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, nope, I can't understand what this score says at all. Uh, but aren't you a musician, Topias? You should have no trouble reading musical scores. Uh, though the bronze plate does have musical scoring on it, I've never seen any of these symbols before. I've read lots of human notation before, but this is really the first time I've seen anything like this. Now what am I going to do? If I can understand this notation, then I won't be able to play a beautiful enough song to my mirror. Come on, don't worry, since it's a music score, there's definitely some way to read it. Just need to find someone who can understand it. Some music scores just can be read. No, find someone who can read it. Yeah, since it's a lost ancient score, maybe use some kind of lost ancient language. Anyway, it should be fine if we go and find Catherine in the Court of Fontaine. What does Catherine have to do with that? But okay. Fontaine is full of artists, and if the adventure skills helps us, we can definitely find someone who can read it. Why don't you head back and wait for us, Topaz? Once we figure this thing out, we'll come find you. Uh, then I'll leave it to you. Okay. Uh, but this asking for commissions usually should take a while. It'll be that convenient. Long time no see, Catherine. Yeah, it has been like 10 minutes. Uh, well, looks like you're busy. We'll wait over here, there. It's fine. This young lady has almost finished setting her business. Are you here for a new commission today? Oh no, not this time. We're actually here to post one. I never thought there would be a problem seasoned adventurers like yourselves couldn't solve. What is the commission you would like to post? Yeah, we never posted a commission. We should have before sometime actually you explain the situation with the last music score to Catherine. Oh, it sounds like you're talking about music oh the young lady who was just here posting a commission is also a musician perhaps she may have some leads for you tally fair uh, hello my name is tally fair could i have a look at the score you mentioned just now of course if you can understand it that'd be amazing let me see, yes, this material in this notation of phonetic notes, it is exactly as I thought. This is score left behind by the ancient Remurians. Remurians? From, what are Remurians? Uh, you've never heard of it. Remuria is the name of the ancient civilization that controlled these waters before the foundation of the Court of Fontaine. The Ossanids. Phonetic notes were a writing system used by the Remurians, but rather than recording languages, they were used to record music. The civilization of the Remurians was based around music. It is said that they once built a massive musical instrument, even grander than our opera house, that was capable of playing music even to the dome of the sky. The legends say that they sail musical ships that could carry thousands, and that each side and shutter of every note was carried to the edges of their empire. But thousands of years ago, a great flood destroyed all of this in a single day. The civilization of Remuria also perished in a cataclysmic tide. Came okay, thousands of years, so this is way older than Camria. 
Although the civilization of Vermilion vanished, they left behind a rich legacy for Fontaine. Especially in the arts, whether in music, drawing or sculpture, we have all been deeply influenced by the Vermilion civilization. It would not be exaggerating to say that they are the fault of all the arts in Fontaine. Yet, we've never heard of them. Not to mention one of the greatest musicians in Fontaine's history, Boetius. He himself served as the harmos for the court of Remuria itself. Huh? So they lived alongside humans. Well, since you obviously knew enough to give the whole speech, then you should have no problem reading the score, right? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I had gotten so far off topic. Any musician who wishes to attain greatness must study the musical theory left behind by Remuria. The melody of Vesta, though I've never seen the movements written here before, since it has been written using ordinary phonetic notes, it's not difficult at all to understand, but... But, but what? There isn't going to be some new problem to solve, is there? However, this music cannot be performed using ordinary instruments. Based on the arrangement of the phonetic symbols, it must have been written for a specific instrument. Mm, so if we want to play this music, we'll have to find some kind of special instrument. This is getting more and more complicated. The Gente Conch, where we were. That's correct. I recall that according to legend, the Remurians would sometimes use a huge conch to perform music of this sort. Huge conch? Pavel feels like we've seen one somewhere before. There was one way back when, where we were into Topias. That's right, mean that thing really is. It looks like you two already have a lead. If you don't mind, I'll mark up the movements on the score for you. The way anyone, even with a basic sense of music theory, should be able to understand it. Yeah, that would be great, thank you so much. Since your problem has already been successfully resolved, I believe it will be an assert to post your commission. As for the reward, you can simply give it directly to this young lady. <laughs> There's no need for a reward. Being able to see a score from Remuria that I've never seen before is reward enough for me. In that case, we'll see you later. Well, we could help her out with her commission she was posting. Uh, no, the, yeah, kind of the same. It's the same place where it was before. Is it here? Oh, he ah. We know where Topaz lives. Hey, Topaz, we're back. Oh, it's you, Ignus, my mom. And we figure out the music out. But before we talk about that, there's something we want to ask you. About the giant conch we saw. About conch-like instruments. Conch-like instruments. Oh, if we're asking about conch harps. Harps? Wouldn't they be horns? Then, yes, that is indeed an instrument. In fact, it's the first instrument I learned to play. Then it looks like we were right on the mower, see? You give the another copy of the melody of Vesta to Topias, and then you tell her about the lost score and the conch harp, which the fair mentioned. 
Uh, now I understand. So this music was originally written to be played by a conch harp. To tell the truth, if it weren't, if it weren't for the conch harp, I wouldn't even have an interest in music. My first memories of this world are all of the conch harp. As for why, well, it's because my token is the component used to play conch harps, of course. But perhaps it's because the sound of the conch harps is a bit too unique, or maintaining them is too complicated. I would always attract a bunch of strange creatures whenever I played it. At some point, I just stopped using it to play music. Enos will help me clean up the conch harp. All we need to do is place this token and clean up the conch's mouthpiece. Then we'll just need to adjust the token and then we can start playing. Oh, so we just need to put it in then. There's a piece of cake, let's go over together. Pamela's looking forward to this. Pamela wonders what kind of music we're gonna get. Yeah, we will we actually get some music or just a black screen with she plays song read. Uh, if that's the case, then why don't you just take this card here, Topaz? We'll go place the token in the meantime. It's been so long. Would anything else have been wrong with the harp in the meantime? Anyway, I'm calling on you. Uh, mounted it up, but there's no response. Just need to give a smack or something. Of armored crabs. If seems to pass, I will be attracted by the performance. It looked like they were inside. Make some less minor adjustments, the components of the blah blah blah. Order for music, even though it took so long, Pamu knew it wasn't offered nothing, the instant she heard it. It washed away our of fatigue, just like that. Yes, even though I can't carry people off into the dreamscape like the legend says, it is truly beautiful music. It's definitely good enough to be a parting gift from Amir. Thank you both so much. You both spent so much time running around and worked so hard for the sake of the music. After all, we are Amir's companions, no worries, we're used to it. Anyway, I'm so grateful, thank you. Alright, and this is the reward I promised you. If you have time, please come back and listen to more beautiful music. What was the reward? Uh. Let me continue to practice the melody of Vesta recently. Have you played from Amir? No, not yet, I'm afraid. She, I mean, she's often out of the village and no one can find her when that happens. But when she's around, I also feel kinda embarrassed. This song is supposed to be a gift, after all. I have to practice a few more times. But I'll find a chance to play for her, I'm sure of it. I've got something else to attain at the moment. Oh, okay, that's not me. Okay, I think there is another quest around their village. The wind 
noises. Quit following me. Famous Pebble could have come over here for a moment. Okay. Serene, why do you call out on to us? Did something happen? Yes, so remember when you just said you wanted to go collect some components, right? Collecting components. I mean fixing Samer. Yeah, at that time I didn't have any that many components with me, so I couldn't help you too. So I went out and collect some more. Whoa, we sure got a lot. Please take them. This way you can speed up the repairs, right? It's fixed, right? Well, thanks a lot, but Samer is already fixed. Oh, already? Wow, I shouldn't have expected that from you too. If, that, if that's the case, uh, you definitely deserve these components. Hmm? You've been putting in a lot of work to help everyone, right? If that's the case, then I would like you to have these components as a token of my gratitude. Thank you for taking care of everyone in the village. Uh, it just so happens that Shanna here in the village is here in the village show. If you need anything, you can trade with her using these components. Ah, so that's what I'll use them for now. They did say it was kind of like their money. So what can I help you with? Ah, oh, about the earthquake before. Ah, um, Amir told me about the situation. It, w it was the first time that the kid talks that much. Anyway, Monster Love Light is very concerned about the matter. I heard that the Marichal Sifanto has already seen so much of escape. Thank you so much for your help. Right, let's talk about my gratitude. Please take this. That one. We got the shiny stuff. Come to exchange them with Shana. We can exchange them for all this stuff. If this is something you like, just tell me. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I have the 12. This. Uh, do they respawn? Yeah, those are pretty basic stuff, but usually when they sell that kind of thing, it. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm not gonna spend it now. If only I could get my hands on more shiny. I already don't remember how many pages, which pages I have. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, good. Maybe I'm missing only the tenth, and then we can complete that. Behold! Huh. Uh, uh, nothing here. Okay, but I, I think it's here. I think it's a bit behind where we spawn. There is another one over there. Puka, are you the... Uh, Puka, why are you here again? There shouldn't be any more monsters nearby, but who knows what other dangers there might be. Anyway, you shouldn't go running off on your own. I didn't run off, Paimoi Ignus. I'm just looking for my token. Huh? You lost your token? Yep. Yeah, it should be somewhere around the place I usually pick rocks from. Uh, you might have dropped it when you got trapped there before. Uh, yeah, you might be right. I was so scared to care about anything else at that time. Uh, it's still a little scared to think about it, but my token is very important. I have to find it. I just have to. Uh, I think it will be too dangerous if Puka goes there on her own. In that case, Ignus, why don't we take a trip back there and help Puka find her token? Puka, just go home and wait for us. If she was, we we'll want to explore the place anyway. Thank you, Ignus Paimon. I'll be good and wait for you at home. Too slow. It's kind of where I were. No.
solidified. This should be the focus token. Unsightly insects. This is order. Gather. Stabilize! Squall Fury! Order guide you! I don't really should fight them. I think there was a chest over here. Coming through. Oh, yeah. I got that. Know your place. Squall and Fury. check the token do they have a better description since it's here with us in our pocket took a token which she lost in the depths of the mine hurry up and return to her no Behold. Puka, we're back. We found our token. You give the token to Puka. Oh, yes. This is the one. Thanks so much. We also found something else while we were looking for your token. Uh, I didn't really notice that was there. It is an ore we've never seen before. We thought it might be valuable, so we brought it here, back. If I remember correctly, you often pick up pretty stones around this area, right? Have you ever have you seen any stones like this before? Let me see. It really is pretty, but not precious at all. It's just an ordinary stone. It's true that you won't find anything like this in other places, but they are everywhere in nearby our veins. Oh, so it's just an ordinary rock? Paimon thought it looked super valuable. Seems like we can't use it for anything else. Let's just find a place to dump it. But if you can find it, they are elsewhere. But if it's unique to this region. Oh, you mean we can make it furniture if we took it elsewhere and sold it? You do have a point. People don't normally go mining in a Melusine village. Which means they're probably never seen anything like this. Great thinking. Come on, let's take this stone to the Corfontaine and show it to the merchants. If there's anything else you'd like to know about ours, come find me anytime. So I don't run the gemstone workshop like my sister and don't know much about appraisals or processing. Compared to precious gems, I prefer collecting all kinds of unique rocks. I guess you can say I know the local ore veins pretty well. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, but I... Oh, I have to be careful. Uh... Oh, this is here. Art that gives us strange glow and has compact and tough texture. Uh, it's kind of like bismuth. It's kind of like this. I do have something that I can sell, right? Uh, I can trade that for money at the bank. And I don't remember what it was. But Uh, there was something I could sell to in Leo 
Inazuma or Monstat. I don't really remember what it was, but there was an item I could sell and I was keeping it because I didn't want to get rid of a unique item. Um, okay, let's see them. Yeah. Let's see how much it's worth, if it's worth anything, but I'll try to keep it. Upon the gale. Huh, too slow. Okay, what shop's that? Chasil, welcome, welcome. Our store offers the most extensive collection of precious gems in the entire Court of Fontaine. We also have a wide range of craft goods on, the, on sale. Anything catch your eye? If not, I will be delighted to meet any other demands. We got some mysteries over here. Yep, since you have such extensive inventory, you should know its value, right? Oh, so you're here to trade ore? Then you've come to the right person. We offer some of the best and fairest prices in Fontaine. Let's see what you have here. You show Chessio the strange ore you found earlier. Whoa, even I've never seen anything like this before. The unique sheen and smooth texture. Oh, there's no doubt a rare variety. Pardon me for asking, but what exactly is this? No idea. It's a pimonial rock. It's a dazzling crystalline gold. No, it's not gold. We, you could call it basically any kind of rock. It would be better than gold. It's a pimonial rock. Hey, don't give it weird names. Your name is weird. It's such a shame you only brought one chunk of ore. If only we had a steady supply, we could forge accessories that would take Fontaine by storm. Well, if they're pretty common there. We are mining quite often, so we could bring more. Fuka mentioned these stones were everywhere near our veins. Maybe we should ask her. We actually have a lot more of this ore. This source is a trade secret. You can find him around. No, we can't tell him. We have a lot more of this ore. Really, that's wonderful. Anyway, in addition to the ore you brought, I'm willing to purchase more ore from you to make a batch of new products. I'm willing to put down an advance payment to show my sincerity as long as you bring more ore the next time you visit. Uh, what do you think? I'd say it's a pretty fair deal. I'm not. 100% sure I can take more. Yeah, I don't think so too. It's a deal. Perfect. Here's your payment. I wonder how the accessories made from this ore will turn out. Huh, I can't say I'm not looking forward to it. I'll be here waiting for your good news. I hope this isn't radioactive like that stone in Liyue. It's you. Do you have any ore? Not yet. Uh, craftsmen are still processing the produce sample, so it's not too urgent. But if we manage to get our hands on more supplies, the craftsmen might just become newly inspired. Eh? I'll still be here waiting for your good news. What if I said uh, I thought about Elinus? Then he wouldn't need to pay me or anything. Well, I thought this probably isn't a place easy for people to get to. Just poor, we can find more rocks like this. Then we can even use the percentage to make a fortune. Yeah, I don't think this will go that smoothly. We're back. Ignus and Paimon, are you here to play with me? Uh, not really. You told us that we could ask you anything related to our veins and gemstones, right? Uh, yep, I've collected all the pretty stones around the area. What exactly do you want to ask about? It's about the stone we found last time. You tell Pook about how you saw the strange ore to the gemstone merchant. Uh, people outside really thought it was that it was a precious gemstone. But I've even showed it to my sister before. It was really a harsh to understand. 
But I know a lot of places with stones like this. If you want to show you where they are. Puka marks the location of the strange horror map. That would be great. Thanks, Puka. Alright. And here's the moral that she has to pay us as an advance fee. We could give you half, you know? Oh, it's alright. We don't really need anything like that in the village, anyway. Not to mention how you've helped me so much, too. Well, we could pay her with components. But I'd like to keep one with me. Squall Fury! Oh, here. Back to Jim Merchant, like we agreed. Okay, so at least we could keep our part of the deal. But I like to keep one at least in my inventory. The wind rises. I didn't even pay attention how much she paid me in advance. <sighs> Quit following me. Oh, hey, it's you, my gemstone suppliers. Yep, we brought lots of that ore, as promised. This may be like Elena's bones or something. Wow, we found so much. This is an enormous help. I already sent the ore to the workshop, but I still haven't received my sample product yet. It could be because the artisans aren't familiar with working a gem of this kind and run into some trouble. But worry not, I trust my judgment. I'm planning on to turn them into accessories that will no doubt become the newest craze all across Fontaine. You'll see what the final product looks like the next time you visit. I'll give you some samples as gift when the time comes. Or perhaps you might see the most fashionable of the nobility wearing them before you even arrive. Alright then, you're always welcome to come back another time. Okay, this is another time. Welcome, we meet again. Are you here for the last ornament this time? Or did you bring some special ore with you once again? Also, I can bring more anytime I want. About the latest ornaments on sale. That's got to be the Wings of Oscillation. They are modeled after this lean wings of crystal flies. The meteorological process used to make them are quite unique. And they are encrusted with dazzling gems. They say that even the gentlest breeze will cause them to flap like real crystal fly wings. To say that the wings of oscillation have taken high class society by storm would be an understatement. Though though everyone loves chasing fads, I'd say the ornaments should be chosen according to their ability to bring out the unique uh, our unique characters. Okay, it's, aren't you supposed to give us something? Uh just let me check. Wings of Oscillation is the one. No, Wings of Merciful. Oh, will he have a custom wings for us? Eventually, someday. Um, our parents are still working on the front. I'm afraid the final product is some ways away. I'm afraid I have to wait till next time. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here today. There's let no me, need. Let me check my reputation. Swan Fury. Mm -hmm. 
Chronicle Echoes of Ancient World. Okay. And we're still quite far from our wings. Clone Phantom Say, or could this be with the. Ghost Ship? But okay, next time. Next time I play, I'll probably do the quest. Next time I get around to do some quests. I'll try to remember to talk to him and look for Seymour and and the potioner that I forgot her name already. Uh, but today I'm out.